much for joining me. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the new Lipstick Queen Saint and Sinner Lip Tint. If you guys saw my Lipstick Queen collection video, you guys know that I love my Lipstick Queen. I think it is one of the best lipstick formulas that you can possibly get. It is so good and Poppy just makes such amazing products. So whenever I saw these on the Ulta website as being a new product, I had to pick them up. So I ended up getting two of the colors, which you saw in the opening um, lip swatch kind of thing. I got Pinky Nude and Rose. These are the swatches of those here. We've got Pinky Nude and then this one is Rose. So the product description describes these as providing hours of comfortable hydration for your lips and they're made to smooth, hydrate, and extend the wear of your other lipstick if you wear it underneath as a primer. And then it's also supposed to be very long lasting. So these are $24 and there are four shades total. There is Pinky Nude, which is the more nude shade, and then Rose is more of a red pink. And then there are two different red ones, more of a classic red and then a very, very deep red. So those are your options for them. I do them. suggest that they can be worn on their own or underneath your favorite lipstick to extend the wear of your lipstick and to just give something left on your lips once your lipstick fades away. As you saw in the beginning whenever I showed the lip swatches, um, Pinky Nude was very patchy looking and you could see my lips through the color and it was just very streaky. Uh, it was not an even application at all. And I could say the same of Rose in that it was a little bit of a streaky application, but once I got it on there and worked it into my lips, it did not stay streaky, whereas the Pinky Nude stayed streaky and just did not look very nice on its own. It's definitely one that you would want to wear underneath of another lip color, whereas Rose, you could definitely wear it on its own as I am right now. And this is completely dry right now. It's been on for about 15 minutes, but within the first three minutes, it was totally dry and it's completely kiss proof. There's nothing on the back of my hand. And what's crazy is that it still looks very glossy but it's completely dry. Like I can touch it, I can move across it, nothing is coming off. So let's get into how these actually perform on the lips. The first one that I tried out was Pinky Nude. I at first just put it on on its own and did notice the streaky kind of application, um, but I was determined to just roll with it, so I put it on, I let it dry, and for it saying that it's supposed to provide hours of comfortable hydration, Guys, it sucked the life out of my lips within the first five minutes of putting it on. As soon as it dried down, it became very aware on my lips. Like I could just tell that it was there and that it was extremely dry. Like to the point where as soon as I got in the car, I had to get some chapstick and put it on on top of it just because I could not stand it any longer. And I noticed whenever I put the chapstick on, that little flakes of the product came off onto the chapstick. So that was kind of, you know, like it didn't look good. It looked very patchy after I put the chapstick on, even worse than before. And there was the little kind of flakes of it, um, which was really surprising because whenever it's dry in this state, you can touch it and it doesn't flake off. So I then decided to put it under my Saint Pinky Nude lipstick and wear it like that as a primer. And again, as soon as I put on the lipstick after the tint had dried, I immediately felt that extreme dryness in my lips. It was not a fun time. It was just very uncomfortable. And I felt like it made the lipstick look worse with that under it because my lips were so dehydrated uh, instead of looking very plump and juicy like they would if I had just went in straight with the lipstick. Now with the rose color, I did feel like the application was a lot more even. It did tend to go on a little bit streaky while it was still wet, just putting it on. But all I had to do was just take the applicator and just kind of smooth it out and even it out. And then it looked really nice. And this color is also not nearly as sheer as the Pinky Nude was. I think it is because there is a little bit more pigmentation in here as it is more of a color instead of being a nude. And this one did not ball up as much as Pinky Nude did. And I think that ha that has a lot to do with the fact that it did have a more even application from the start. But I did get just a couple small flakes onto my lip balm tube whenever I was putting it on. So both of them had the same issue, just not to the same extent. 
and then whenever I wore it underneath the lipstick it just it did not work it just did the exact same thing as pinky nude your lips just feel so dry with this on which i think is kind of crazy considering that they tout how much hydration this product is supposed to provide and how it's supposed to have hours of comfortable wear whenever that's just not what i'm experiencing here i mean my lips right now feel so dry and even though they aren't cracked they feel crackly like in the center of my lips, I just want to like scrub them and put a really thick, rich balm on them right now because it feels so uncomfortable. So while this is a really lovely idea for a product and I think that the colors themselves are really lovely, I don't feel like it is worth the price at all. This is not a $24 product and I don't even think that I would want this product even if I only paid $5 for it just because... It's uncomfortable and you don't want to have something uncomfortable on your lips if it's not providing at least part of what it says it's going to. Um, I don't feel like it extended the wear of my lipstick. It's not hydrating and it's not really smoothing either because once it dries you feel every single line and wrinkle in your lips and it shows on your lips <laughs> whenever it's dry. So it's just really not a fun product. I unfortunately cannot recommend this. Even though I love Lipstick Queen and think that they produce amazing products, this is not one of them. This is a complete fail. Please guys, do not waste your money on this product. It is just terrible. So overall, I love, 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 love the packaging. I think it's really pretty. I love the concept. I love the colors. But the execution is just terrible. This is not a good product. I don't recommend it. It's just going to dry out your lips like crazy. My lips feel right now even worse than with a matte liquid lipstick. So that is it for this review, guys. I really hope that it was helpful, and I hope that I was able to save you a little bit of time and effort and frustration and money by not buying these products now that you've seen this review. I'm going to go take this lip tint off and scrub my lips down and put some balm on them because they really, really need it. Um, so that is it, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.